Hi, Dr. Metters here again. This is just a little discussion on the switch command, which is much like the if statement or the switch statement. And here's what I have. I have the switch command lets you, it's like an if statement where you have several conditions that could result in something you want to do. For instance, uh, in this case, we're going to say switch number one. If number one that we enter in from the keyboard up here and we parse int it, if it's equal to case of one or case of two, then you're going to say document write high. Then you're going to break that, which closes off that case statement. So a, case, so a switch statement has various a number of cases for which it will do a given conditional, you know, if the condition meets that case, it will do that, the statements below it. Um, up until the break. So, for instance, this is like saying right here. This is like saying, if num one equals to the digit one or two, then document write high. If num one is equal to the digit or the numeric three, then document write by. And then the default is to say if it's equal to neither any none of those three, then it's going to you know that's the default thing that will occur, and then it's going to terminate or end. So. That's the scope of the switch statement. The switch says some value, and you got your left curly brace, right curly brace. You got your cases, case one colon, space, case two colon. And this is saying, this is if it equals to one, then document dot write high. Or if it's equal to two, document write high. If it's equal to three, then display by, and then break. And then if they don't enter in, and let's say the user enters in something besides one, two, or three, a five, then it's going to say, hey, do one, two, or three. Up here, we're telling them what to do ahead of time. So let's run this thing. Okay, go find it. All right, so the number I want to enter in, let's pull it down a little bit so you can see it. So the number right here is displaying, hey, enter one or two for high, enter three for buy. So I'm going to enter a one. It says hi. I'm going to run it again. Press F5. It says OK. Display the valid numbers. I'm going to enter in a three. Buy. I'm going to press F5 again. Now let's enter in a nine, one, two, or three value. Five. It's going to say enter a valid value. And that's an example of the switch statement, which is like a, a fancy if statement, if you will. Thank you. Have a great day.